Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed my previous videos, you can find links in the description box. This video is on DP Transmitters Manifolds. In this video, you will learn Why we use three valve manifolds in differential pressure transmitter? And how to remove DP transmitter from service? Lastly, how to put DP transmitter into service. First of all, let's learn what will happen to differential pressure transmitter if we do not use three valve manifolds. One of the problems with the use of differential pressure transmitter with respect to the measurement of flow is that the transmitter measures a relatively small differential pressure across an element such as an orifice. The range cell used within the transmitter is normally appropriately sized for the application. However, the potential total process pressure available is often significantly larger, so much so in fact, that if the total pressure were to be applied to one side of the transmitter only, damage may occur as the cell or capsule becomes overranged. This generally happens when putting the transmitter into service, or taking it out of service. Now, let's learn, what is exact purpose of 3-valve manifold? The 3-valve manifold provides a method for connecting the transmitter to the process in such way that, the transmitter will not be overranged while being removed or put into service. It also provides a method for checking the zero of the transmitter without removing it. The 3-valve manifold consists of two block valves, and one equalizing valve. The block valves isolate both the high and low pressure impulse lines, while the equalizing valve ensures the pressure difference between the high and low side remains effectively zero, during the process of removing from service, or putting into service. In this section, I am going to show, step-by-step -step procedure to remove transmitter from service. Step 1. As you can see, this is simply the as-found orientation of the valves, with both block valves open, and equalizing valve closed. In other words, this is condition of valves, when transmitter is in service. In second step, open the equalizing valve by rotating valve in counterclockwise direction. This will balance the pressure to both the high and low sides of the transmitter. In third step, close the LP block valve by rotating valve in clockwise direction. This will isolate the transmitter from the low side pressure. In fourth or final step, close the HP block valve by rotating valve in clockwise direction. This will isolate the transmitter from the high side pressure. The transmitter has now been removed from service. In other words, once you have done with fourth step, you can remove transmitter without causing any damage to cell. Now, let's learn how to put transmitter back into service. In step 1. First of all, open the equalizing valve by rotating valve in counterclockwise direction. This will balance the pressure between the high and low side, and prevent overranging during this process. In step 2, open the HP block valve by rotating valve in counterclockwise direction. Once we open HP block valve, both sides of the transmitter will be at the same pressure, which is equal to the HP side of the process pressure. Now, in third step, close the equalizing valve by rotating valve in clockwise direction. This will now isolate the HP and LP sides of the transmitter. In fourth and final step, open the LP block valve by rotating valve in counterclockwise direction. The transmitter will now be able to indicate the correct differential pressure between the and high and low pressure taps, and transmitter is now considered to be in service. Thank you friends for watching this video. If you have any questions about this video, then please do ask me in comment box. I will try to give best possible answers to your questions. And if you really like the content of this video, then please hit like button and share this informative video with your friends. And subscribe this channel, so that you will not miss any informative video like this.